Lesson three. Units and square units. In lessons one and two, you discovered how to calculate the area of a square and a rectangle. For example, a square whose side has a length of three has an area of nine because three times three equals nine. When measuring objects in the real world, length is always measured in units, such as inches or meters, while area is measured in square units, such as square inches or square meters. For example, suppose that each side of this square has a length of three inches. You can divide this square into nine smaller squares, each of which is a square that is one inch on each side, that is, one square inch. So a square whose sides are three inches has an area of nine square inches. As another example, this rectangle has a base of two meters and a height of four meters. You can divide it into eight one-meter squares. So this rectangle has an area of eight square meters. As a final example, a rectangle with a base of five feet and a height of three feet can be divided into fifteen one-foot squares.